Yeah, it's obviously great to start the season in that, that, in that manner, go out and get four wins. I'm just really proud of our, our team overall. We didn't play perfect volleyball, but in clutch situations we found, we found a way to win. I think we did really well taking what we've been working on all preseason and trying to implement it on the court. We were learning some new things like new blocks and new defensive stuff that we really hadn't had that much time to work on so we really tried to put that into effect and I think we were successful but because it is a new thing we will definitely have more to work on and we're looking forward to that in the coming weeks to really perfect those and put them into play. I guess you know one biggest thing we learned about our team was just that when uh, given a challenge uh, to overcome or a challenge on the court they really know how to step up and, and get it done. We challenged them to at, at crunch times to trust in what they've been trained to do go out and do it with confidence and they were able to numerous times go out and do just that uh, so we really respected that in our team this weekend it's definitely a huge confidence booster um, definitely kind of a morale to um, coming into preseason with now 4 and0 it's it's really helping like the spirit of the team and like I myself like it's helping me as well to just like kind of keep building on that success it's inspiring to do that like you know you can do it and now we just want to do it some more you know we're gonna make one final comment here today about the, the weekend and then we got to move on because the next teams don't care about uh, our success this past weekend so we're looking at what things we didn't do well uh, this past weekend trying to improve on that and, and move forward well, Coach is always good about reminding us that each game has a life of its own, so we can definitely take those wins and be proud of what we did this past weekend, but it doesn't discount the teams that we're going to face and some teams we're going to face again, and they're going to be working hard to really fix their problems just like we want to fix ours. So you just have to like kind of take those games, put them aside, and just focus on what you need to do to get better. South Dakota State, you know, they're a, they're a team that's rebuilding from last year, and so we, we've seen a little bit of video and the results, but they played some very, very tough teams this, this first weekend, so they struggled, but again, it was a very tough team, so uh, we'll see what we can do with, with them. And then this opening, this coming weekend, it's a lot of really tough teams. We're playing North Dakota, who's been the perennial champions of the Big Sky Conference, and then UCF, Central Florida, who's been a dominant team as well. So we got a really tough weekend ahead of us. And then Omaha, the host school, is a school very comparable to us. So, uh, you know, we want to go out, out this weekend and get another win or two, but, you know, it, it's going to be tough.